we were shocked. While we knew something was wrong, nobody ever really thinks it can happen to you. We're all humans. You know, it happens always to somebody else. But that said, you listen and you need to move forward and you need to then seek solutions and you need to find the, the path towards recovery. People get so scared, as you know, we all should, and, and confused, and you just don't know what door may open at any given time throughout any treatment that you have, but especially cancer. Just because things are uncertain, like it doesn't have to be so scary. And I mean, all anyone's given is, you know, the day in front of them. You know, this was all of our new norms. It was just part of the daily things. Does mom have to go in? Does she have to stay the night? Is she gonna be there a week? You know, these are things that we're just going with and literally every single week it changed. I accompanied Celeste to, I would say, 99% of all of her visits. Took care of the house, cleaning, cooking, shopping, uh, took care of the kids, helped them with their homework, made sure they got to their practices. You really have to be a support system for your spouse as well as for or the medical team taking care of your family member or yourself. You have to partner with them. You can't be an obstacle for them. It was hard for me emotionally going through it, especially because he was so optimistic and I just never wanted to kind of bring him down. When Brandon was in the hospital, I decided to fold a thousand paper cranes um, as kind of a symbol of good luck and like a prayer for good health for him to get through it. If you give up and surrender, then the chances, you know, you've already lost. The strength of positive thinking can never, ever be underestimated. The fact is, is after going through something like that, you do look at life different. I mean, you truly do um, have a different perspective about things. I mean, we try not to take anything for granted. Just facing the unknown, um, I wanted to spend as much time with Brandon as I could um, and just kind of enjoy our day to day. My husband, he's supported me through the whole journey and always he's there for me. I was blessed with him. And luckily she's been a great source of support for me throughout all of it. And like every decision I made, she was right there. My husband was so amazing when I was in the hospital and really the whole time I battled cancer. He just let me focus on me like he's my rock. We are not alone. We have people around us. We have family, we have friends, and good doctors, good researchers. Everybody's there for you. You just have to open up to accept what you have and fight for it.